So 3D printing is this amazing overnight success that's been 20 years in the making. There's been a lot of talk and hype around 3D printing, but a lot of people are talking about what will 3D printers be capable of. When everyone has a 3D print in their garage, they will print this. But what we were interested in showing is what we can print now today. So the goal of this project was to see how one would design with the 3D printer in mind. So this is a technology that's been around for a long time, but up until very recently and still for the most part today, it's been used for making things, doing things that are one or two levels of abstraction away from the finished good. So we wanted to print something that was a high quality finished object that a consumer would buy, not just because we could, but because it would benefit from the 3D printing process. So we have here a Connex 500 from Object, um, and this printer is unique in that it can print multiple materials with a wide range of uh, material properties. Um, like rigid materials, clear materials, flexible materials. A speaker to us was interesting because we felt it could really benefit from the multi-material technology. Also with the object machine, we could create something that was a high enough resolution where a consumer could accept it as a finished product. The question becomes, if you can print anything, any form, then what do you print? We're a software company and we're looking at how we can use our tools in new ways to create new possibilities. So what's interesting, this entire design process um, was actually done digitally. I don't think we ever sketched anything on paper. Um, we were sketching digitally, we were uh, designing and modeling in actually a variety of our tools, um, and we were actually doing a bunch of round tripping. So do one thing in one of the tools, out to another tool, back to that original tool, and so forth. And ultimately what we came up with was a form that couldn't have been designed or fabricated any other way. We started in 3ds Max Design because that let us explore shapes and patterns really rapidly. And then once we found something we liked, we moved it into Inventor with the Mesh Enabler plugin from Autodesk Labs. Inventor let us finish off the geometry very precisely in a parametric environment and incorporate all of the speaker and electronic components. And it let us make design changes really rapidly. At one point, when we got really, really close to what we thought we wanted, we felt like it was time to hold it in our hands. Um, that's what was necessary to really understand what we had designed. And so we went to the printer, um, and so that we could instantiate this thing physically. And it turns out we only needed to do one or two prototypes, physical prototypes, because we got so close um, in, in the digital space. At the end of this um, process, digital design, additive manufacturing, what we ended up with was the actual object, not a prototype, um, but the actual thing that would end up being used. Design is for the taking. We can upload this design here onto the web. Somebody somewhere else in the world can download it and 3D print it on their printer. Um, so this is not just democratization of design, it's democratization of manufacturing.